Okay, so now we're going to review how to install your graphic on your windshield. All of our kits come with uh, graphics for the small windshield. The larger windshields, we don't recommend wrapping. Too many contours and, and curves, uh, not recommended. So anyway, these ones are pretty easy. So I've cleaned this already, just uh, Windex. Um, this one used to have some stickers on it, so you can kind of see here, I've removed the old adhesive. Uh, again, hit it with methyl hydrate, and we'll grab our windshield here. So the reference point for installing this is this top curve. Now this is a bit tricky, but what I try and do is just get it so that it's, it's resting there. Now this may require some trimming, but you can see how I'm going downhill here. It's really hard to tell where you're at until you bend it around the corner. So what I try and do is just touch that, pull the rest of this up, and then I'm just going to try and bring this up around here. Now you can see here, if you're really picky, like I am, you're probably gonna wanna trim that, that off so it follows the contour of the, the windshield. So if you get one side down, it will follow on the other side. So you just work on one side at a time. Let it fall naturally where it wants to go. Run your finger along the top. So once we've got that, the cool thing about this vinyl with the adhesive, it has that comply technology on it. It will actually let air channel out. So it won't get bubbles if you do it properly. You start from the edge that you've got stuck down and again using some pretty good pressure but you can see there no bubbles and just work. Uh, in this case we're just going to tuck it right along the edge. Now the windshields do need to be trimmed. The reason for that is uh, there's no real easy way to get this thing on here perfectly straight. See how this is starting to pucker right here. Now with a little bit of added pressure from my squeegee it won't. Basically, the, what's happening is this is softer, so it's allowing the vinyl to kind of pucker up a little bit. So if you put pressure on it, it will actually conform to the way you want it to go, within reason. If you do get a wrinkle, you can pull it up, work it back. So I'm just going to use my solid edge of my squeegee. I'm going to tuck it in there as best I can, so that I've got a nice straight edge that I'm going to trim. Uh, these things here, I mean, if you want to get super uh, picky, you can you can pull this trim off. We don't usually because these clips are really hard to get off. But if you want to make it perfect, pull these clips off if you can get them off, and then just squeeze the whole thing on, and then put it back over top, and you're you're laughing. So in order to trim, what I try and do is I try and actually run the, the knife about an eighth inch on, like I'm pushing down onto the top edge of this piece of plastic. I'm not cutting in the V because what happens is it'll leave a space. So if you've got a clear windshield or if you've got a black windshield or whatever and you've got a colored graphic like this, you're gonna see that little line in there. Fairly close, it doesn't have to be a big piece. Watch your fingers too. So I'll see how that'll come up. So if I work this down, now it will get tight as you get closer to the center, but you should be able to work it underneath so it actually tucks in there. That's great because then when you look at it, it's perfect. It doesn't have any little spots. It doesn't have a little wavy line where you were all shaky when you were cutting. So leave yourself a little extra when you cut. And again, I've done this a few times, so I can do it pretty quick. Take your time. If you do make a mistake, we do offer just uh, individual pieces. You can order. And once you get that, just tuck it underneath. And if you get to a point where you can't get it stuck down like that, just trim it. And voila! Now, for the most part, you can wrap this up around here. If you're really picky, just run your piece of tape along here, follow that exact contour of the edge, and then just trim that off, and you can, you can peel it back. I'm gonna trim this edge here quick. But other than that, uh, that's pretty well it for windshield.